Good morning and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well, today we have a strength challenge for you. It will consist of lots of circuits, intervals instead of reps, and we'll have an upper body, lower body, and an ab move each circuit. It's going to be fun. Then we're going to end it up with a little bit of a pyramid mashup of sorts. Um, I saw this format a couple years ago. I think Melissa Ioja did it. Um, you start with 20 reps of one move and one, move, one rep of the other move, and then you work down to one rep with the high rep move, and then you work up <laughs> to 20 with the low rep move. So if that was clear as mud, I'm sure you will understand it here in a minute. So we're working down and up with two moves, and it's going to be hard, and it's going to be fun. So because this is an upper body and lower body workout, you will need your full range of weights. We're going to need all sorts of different weights to challenge ourselves today and you will have to really pay attention to your pace um, because we're not counting out the reps we want to get as many reps as we can in during those intervals so grab your weights your water and your can do attitude and i will see you back here for that warm-up all right guys let's get ready with that warm-up oh yeah all right first we're going to just start out jogging just a little jog, you can jog back and forth. Whatever makes you happy. It's kind of a dreary, rainy day here, so I'm looking for all sorts of things to help me be happy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna circle those arms forward. And backwards. I'm sure if I were thinking hard enough, I could think of lots of things, lots of reasons I should be happy. Just about training your mind to look for things to be thankful for. All right, back it out here. We're gonna go into some squat with a knee twist. We're gonna warm up your obliques here. Really, really contract as you twist. using our whole body today. We're not focusing on just one part. We're going through the whole thing. Upper body, lower body, abs, repeat. Really twist. One more each side. And very good. All right, we're gonna come down to our mat. We're going to do some toe, or sorry, knee push-ups first. So we'll do one knee push-up, and we're going to come up on our toes, toe push-up. Knee push-up, up on your toes. Now we're going to go into some front and side lunges. So start on your right leg here. Step it up. Awesome job. Sink it back. When you're stepping sideways, woo, keep your balance. Almost lost mine. Recovered it though. All right, other side. Step forward with that left. Just a little bit more here. Really sink down. One more each way. And all right, let's jack it out. Jack it out for 20 seconds. Big arms. 
Start to go faster. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Before we get into this madness here, I want you to kind of get your weight set up for our first circuit. All right, guys, we are ready for the actual workout now. What I want you to do is pick out a weight a little bit lighter than uh, you might normally use for a front raise because you're going to do a front raise. Okay, you're going to front raise, you're going to push back, press out with one arm, okay? We're going to do it with your left arm first, then we're going to swiftly get some heavy weights and do some surrenders. So, just be ready to move with your light and heavy dumbbells for this first set. It's going to go quickly. We're going to have 10 seconds in between to make our transitions, but it's still going to be fast. Okay. All right. And off we go. Okay. So, our left arm is going first. Okay. You're going to lift, push back, push forward, down. So front raise, you're going to row it back or pull it back and down. We want a lot of control here. Halfway done. Starting to burn. If you need to lower your weight, 10 seconds. Get it out there, slow it down on the way down. All right. Now we're going to go into some surrenders. All right. Waist to the shoulders. So down with the right, up with the right, down with the left, up with the left. Now you can also keep your weights here for those surrenders. Let's do it. <laughs> See if I can do it from the side for you. Really keep your core tight, especially with those arms above your head. Fifteen seconds. Whoa. Eight seconds. Perfect job. All right. Now we're back on that left side for a side plank leg raise and a toe touch. So you're here. Raise your leg, touch your toe. Raise your leg, touch your toe. Raise your leg, Ooh. and touch your toe. Raise your leg, touch your toe. Raise your leg, and touch your toe. Now, you can come here, raise your leg, touch your toe, okay? So if that being up on your foot, it's too much, by all means, you've got to do what works for you. Got it, okay. We're going through that same thing again. So, grab your light weight for the front raise. Row it back, row it back, press. We're working our posterior delts there, our rhomboids are getting some action. If you need to shake it out or lower your weight.
You go ahead and do that. Oh, eight seconds. All right, awesome, okay, surrenders. I did not realize these are all supposed to be on the left, so we're only gonna lead with that left foot this time for surrenders. Okay, all right. Forgotten what I planned for us. Keep that shoulder joint solid, stacked. Only leading with that left leg. Really push. Five seconds. Got it. All right. Side plank leg raise, toe touch. Now again, you have the option here of being here, raise it, touch it, raise it, touch it, raise it, touch it, okay? Raise it, touch it, Woo. raise it, I get soft balance with these, touch it, raise it, and touch it, raise it, and touch, raise, touch, raise, touch, doing great, raise, and touch. I'll give you two extra seconds, because that was a beast. Okay, now we are off to that second circuit. Get your light weights again. Do the same thing on that arm. So, front raise, pull it back, push it forward, down. Front raise, pull it back, push it forward, down. Front raise, pull it back, push it forward, down. I am sweating like crazy. You're halfway done. Any of you all are archers, hunters, this would be great. <clears throat> We're helping you pull your bow back. Awesome, okay. Now what I'm gonna do since I covered up our standards last time is I'm gonna have us do alternating legs this first round and then we'll only leave with our right. So we'll have even reps. <laughs> okay, get them up. So up with the right, up with the left. the toe. Your arms are probably screaming from some of those moves. Now you also have the option here also to come here
right on that knee, okay? If you're in it, stick with it for five seconds. Awesome. Whew, I always lose my grip because I get sweaty. All right, back to those one arm front raises, row and presses. All right, so one arm, push back, push forward, down. Now you can step forward to make sure you aren't leaning back too much. Oh yeah. Just push through. Lower your waist if you need. I'm just using 10 pounds here, so. Last one. Oh boy. All right, surrenders. This time we are just gonna lead with our right. Now we're even. All right, grab those weights. It's a little less confusing. Leading with one leg. You can also put that left leg down first and then just go straight up to the right. Less than 10. I'll be glad when these are over. Five. Oh yeah. 40 pounds over your head. There's no easy win. Okay. All right. Make sure we don't slip. Okay. We're gonna raise it. Touch it. Raise it, touch it, raise it, touch it, reset, raise it, touch it, reset, touch it. If you can't hold this the whole way, just go ahead, get on those knees, raise, touch from here. You're still getting great ab work, okay? So we're getting a great, Range of motion. Oh, your abs have to be strong to do that in either modification, so no worries. All right, now we're going on to our third circuit. We're gonna do a bent over row and a curl with your left. So, you're gonna bend over, row, Curl, row, you can even do a hammer here, okay? We're gonna stay bent that whole time. See how that works out for us. Then you're gonna go into a one leg deadlift on the left, and then our ab move is gonna be one leg elbow to knee on the left. So you're gonna be laying on your back, taking your elbow to your knee, okay? All right. Here we go. All right. So, chair pose. We're gonna row. Then we're gonna curl. We're gonna row. We're gonna curl. We're gonna row. We're gonna curl. We're gonna row. You can also step the foot if you want to. We're gonna curl. We're gonna row, curl, we're gonna row, we're gonna curl. 15 seconds. Row, curl, we're gonna row, and curl. Woo, less than 10. That was tough. 
Good job. Okay. One leg deadlift on the left. Wipe it off. Get the other weight. All right. So, a couple ways you can do this. You can hover the leg like I'm doing. You can bring it back. Deadlift it here. And just really lean forward onto that front leg. I keep forgetting my boxes aren't back here. I moved them. They were getting to be a little bit of a room crowder. Feel that pull. Tighten your abs. And you're good. All right, awesome job. All right, so now we're back to our ab move on the floor. All right, so we're gonna bring that left elbow to the right knee. You can also touch if that feels good. You can do two and two. So two knees, two toes. That's a good time. We go like that variation. So make it your own. Get a nice steady pace that you can maintain. Really twist. Three, two. Awesome job, guys. All right, <clears throat> we're back over to that bend over row with a curl. All right, bend it over, row. Turn it around, curl. Again, you can long lower. Throw it here. You can hammer curl it. Eight seconds. <clears throat> awkward move. Okay. We're back to those one leg deadlifts on the left here. <clears throat> Front knee soft. Eight seconds. Good job. All right. Back to that elbow to knee or elbow to toe on the left. <clears throat> awesome job. This one's so fun. All right. So you're either here with a good twist. Here, two, and two, or you could just do all toe touches. Do whatever you can to get through this interval. Here we go. Oh. So, 
We are on to our next circuit. So you've got that bent over row on the right, one leg deadlift on the right, one leg elbow to knee. So row and curl. Row and curl. Row and curl it up. Row, if this is uncomfortable, then curl it at the top, okay? That's also a really nice flow. Eight seconds. job. Now we're going to do those deadlifts on the right. All right. Now if you're like me and you have flat feet or rolling arches, you're going to want to tend to hit that weight a little bit on the inside of your foot, and you're going to want to fall to the left on this one. Try to make sure your weight is right square over top of that foot, not to either side. You also may find when you try to correct it, you'll Go too far the other way so don't worry if you're off balance we're all made differently and sometimes certain moves are going to be harder for you than other people okay all right down on the floor we're going to crunch the right elbow to the left knee you can add those two toes if you want I'll add the two. Twenty seconds. Oh yeah, less than ten. Woo. One side's gonna be harder. Oh yeah. Oh. Ouch. All right. You got that bent over row with a curl. <clears throat> All right, so row it up, curl it up, row it up, and curl it up, row it up. Really focus on squeezing that bicep. Row it up, curl it up. Halfway through. Squeeze your back. Four, three, two, one. Ah. Nice, that's the last time I have to do that. We're gonna go into that one leg deadlift right foot, and then back of those knee to elbow crunches. Woo, here we go. Get good balance. You can't go down as low, no worries. Keep your knee soft. Squeeze at the top. Almost there. Less than 10. Awesome. Great job. High fives. All right. 
after those crunches. <clears throat> Ooh. Get my sticky mat over to the other side. So here, you can add here. with just your left arm, a side lunge to the left for your lower body move, and one leg L raises to the left. So that's your ab move. What that is gonna look like is you're gonna be laying on, your ground, on the ground. You're gonna hover one foot, make an L with the other for 50 seconds. No big deal, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, now grab a quick sip of water. And we'll go into those tricep kickbacks on the left. Whew. All right, I think we're ready to go. Three seconds. Okay, so. You're bending over, elbow up. You're gonna bend over a little further than you think you should. I still want your weight in the heels. Really push it back. Halfway there. Oh yeah. Look about four feet ahead of you. Try to keep a neutral spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice. All right. We're going into those side lunges on the left. So we grab two weights here. I'm going to take them to my shoulders, okay? I'm going to sit back as best I can. Now your other option here is to lunge out, sandwich your leg between those weights. Keep your balance. <laughs> I'm telling you, as I'm losing mine. Five, three, one. Okay, all right. Those L legs are up next. There we go, all right. So on your back, hovering both feet. Making an L, you're gonna feel some glute work. You're gonna feel a little hip flexors. Keeping the upper part of my core engaged too by keeping my shoulders off the mat. About 10 seconds, less than 10. Four, and one. Woo. All right, all right. So we are back 
to the beginning for this circuit with those tricep kickbacks on the left, okay? So, get that weight out of there. Bend over, kick back. That elbow up as best you can. If you find that you can't keep it up, you need to lower your weight. Over halfway there. Less than ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Now we are back into those side lunges on the left. in here, right? So one thing I'll say for the old power blocks, they are hard to get back and forth quickly, at least for me. Lunging it out to the side, sitting back. If your range of motion isn't good here, it's okay. Especially with weights, you may want to lower them. Less than 10. Keep that chest up. Two, one. Awesome. Okay, those L raises again. We're doing the same thing all on the right. So, tricep kickback. Bend over. Too slippery. All right, here we go. Weights to the shoulders. We're sandwiching that right leg. Weight in the heel. Halfway there. Really hold, squeeze, eight, one, awesome. Okay, now you're gonna do those L 
raises on your right leg. Let's go. All right. Over the feet. I'm going to take my hands out from underneath my glutes so I can really work on getting that lower back just pinned to the mat. If you need assistance here, you can put your hands under there. You can plant that left heel. Eight seconds. You got it. Good job, guys. All right, we're getting back into that second set on the right. All right, here we go. All right, down, elbow up. It's a great but torturous move. so I don't get a weight to the foot. Really be, got to be on top of your game when you've got squirt blocks in your hand or power blocks. Because if something's not in there just right, you're getting a weight to the toe. Three, two, one. Oh, that is miserable. But good for you, so keep doing it. All right, here we go. Waist to the shoulders. Sit it back, tighten that core. Really use your glutes so that you don't rely on your lower back. Keep your chest up, keep your spine neutral. Fifteen seconds. Focus on that squeeze. And the stretch. Awesome. Last time doing that. Thank goodness. Back on the floor for your leg raises. Here we go. Put my hands up underneath. Struggling a little bit. Halfway there. I'm taking the hands out again. See if I can last here. Sometimes my other leg wants to come up, too. It doesn't understand. Three, two, one. All right, awesome. Great, great job. Okay, we're getting ready for that seventh circuit. So I'm gonna pause this here. You've got two more circuits left. Then we'll take a break. Then we'll go into that crazy up-down pyramid. Um, so these last two circuits, you've got a one arm chest press on the left, one leg back lunge on the left, so you're going to weight to shoulders or weights to the side, back on that left leg, okay? Um, and then side plank hip dip needle thread on the left. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to either be on your knees here, you're going to dip it and lower, or you're going to be on your Feet, dip it, and lower. Dip it and thread it. <laughs> okay, that is it, and then we'll go do that same thing on the right. We are working very isolaterally today. So, 
Grab your weights for that chest press. Now what you have the option to do is hold your other arm up as you're pressing down with one. That's actually a great challenge. So um, I'm gonna take it back here and in 10 seconds, we will go. That'll give you time to get to your mat. Get your weights up safely. All right, on your back, you can bridge up if you want. Legs coming back. Chest is staying up. You can bring those weights here. You can lean forward more for more glute work. However, you've got to keep that knee behind your toe. And last one. Awesome. Okay. Now you actually have three modifications for this one. I'll show you all three. Okay. So you're here on your left side. Here you can dip and go under. You can dip here on your knees and thread it through. You can stagger your feet and thread it through. Or you can stack your feet, thread it through. So that's actually four, I guess, modifications. There might be even more. I think I'm gonna stick with a staggered feet. Yeah, I guess you could do a forearm too. You could stay on your forearm and keep your legs straight and staggered. So, so many options. Okay, now we're back down for that one arm chest press. Oh yeah. Uh. Both arms up if you want. We're just pressing one. You can bridge it up if you want. Get a good glute. Little interval there. Halfway done. Less than 10. Mm. One. Ooh, that was getting pretty shaky. Glad that was over when it was. All right, so we're gonna take that left leg back. Okay. Screaming. 
just holding these weights. Whew. Again, you can lean for more glute work. Oh yeah. Now, one modification I forgot to show you is, whew, you can do all this on your forearm, even with your legs straight out. So you can come here, dip, and oh, this hurts so bad with that after that chest press. And those tricep dips or kickbacks. Really twist. Now you also have the option of being here. Okay, lots of options. You can also come here. All right, awesome job. Okay, we are on to our last circuit. Woo! All right, chest press on the right. You feel so strong for your first set, and then whoa. I will bridge up in my second interval of this, my second round, just to make it even, just to get even with that right arm. Left arm is shaking, right arm is getting pretty tired too. And one, almost. We are taking that right leg back. So take your weights wherever you want them. Really breathe it out. that back straight. Four, three, two. Whew. All right. Now we're on the right side. And I'll show you the nine million modifications for this move. So first around the knee, up, down, up, needle, down, up, needle, down, up. Okay. And you can be on your forearm, dip it, needle, needle, dip, needle, needle. Or you can, if you're not slipping off your mat, go to everything on your hand, either staggered foot. Or you can stop those feet. Okay? Oh, off we go. To that one arm chest press again. Okay. I'm going to bridge up this time. Hope you can see me. Shaking, hurting, burning, 
just how we like it. 15 to go. Squeeze at that chest. Four, three, two, one. Oh, so glad that's over. All right. Trying to get back around to tap back with that right foot. Or lunge back with that right foot, okay? All right, pick them up. You can get them in here. Your shoulders may start to scream with them up here. Understandable. arms down if you need. Oh yeah. Really feel it and that left glute when I lean it forward a bit. Awesome. All right. This is our last exercise for all these intervals and you're gonna take a break. All right, and try it on your forearm first, if you want. You can also stack those feet. And ten. Five. One. Oh. Activity complete. <laughs> it's not really complete, but it is time for your break. Take about two or three minutes. Keep walking around. Get a drink. Stretch it out dynamically if you need to. And I will meet you back here for our pyramid. See you then. All right, guys, I hope you had an awesome break. Hope you are feeling refreshed and revitalized um, because you're gonna need to be for this next little group. So this is our ascending and descending pyramid mashed up together. You're gonna have two different moves. We're gonna have squat jumps and plank jack shoulder taps. You're gonna start with 20 squat jumps and one plank jack shoulder tap. Then you're gonna go down to 19 squat jumps two plank jack shoulder taps. So as one moves reps are going down, the other moves reps are going up. So with our plank jack shoulder taps, because you gotta do a tap for each shoulder, it'll really be like a two equals one. So I have got a piece of paper where I have numbered 20 down and one up to 20 uh, for each of the moves so that I know when I'm doing 20 squat jumps, I'm gonna be doing uh, one plank jack shoulder tap or if I'm doing 14 squat jumps that I need to be doing seven uh, plank jack shoulder taps. It just saves you a little time, helps you to check off what you've done and um, keeps you going. So anyway, I think without further ado, we should start this madness and see how we get along. All right, so we're going to start with those 20 squat jumps. So here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome. Now we're going to do one plank jack shoulder tap. So, one. And off we go. Then we're gonna go straight on to 19 squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's gonna be rough, okay. One, two. Oh, I may move my weights so that I can not sit around here. Keep my feet on something a little sturdier. All right. Now we're going to 18 squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, three, plank jacks. One, two, three, squat jumps. Breathe it out. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. If you don't want to jump, you can also just do squats there. Now we're up to four. One, two, three, four. I don't know if I should make those two equals one or not. All right. 16, squat jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're up to five plank jack shoulder taps. One, two, Three, four, five. Oh, you're doing great. Mark it off. Fifteen squat jumps. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, keep smiling, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Six plank jack shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, count it too fast. Five and six. Oh, nice. Marking it off. Fourteen squat jumps. Pound it out. You can do it. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, four more. One, two, three, four. Seven, plank jack shoulders out. Okay, one, two, three, four, five.
Okay, 13 and eight. Have a quick drink. Me too. <coughs> Pardon me. 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 18, or eight, <laughs> not 18 yet. We'll get there, but not yet, okay. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. We're down to 12. And nine. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. You're doing great, guys. This is all mental. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. All right, nine leg jack shoulder taps. Pound it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Great job. 11 and 10 are next. Almost as many of one as you have of the other. Breathe it out if you're dizzy. Getting up and down sometimes makes us dizzy, so make sure you're good. Where you move on. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that means we got 10 of those plank jack with a shoulder tap. until you do squat jumps ahead of it. Okay, 10 squat jumps, 11 shoulder taps. All right, Whew. and squat jumps. All right, it's the first time we've had more shoulder taps than squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Oops, I was supposed to do 11. 11. Oh, no good. All right. All right. Nine squat jumps. All 
right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twelve, leg jack, shoulder taps. Twelve, we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Eight and thirteen. Who made this up? Okay. Eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirteen. One, two, oops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. get down to five squat jumps and 16 plank jack shoulder taps. We may do one equals one. We'll see. Now we're at seven and 14. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's it, seven. And we're gonna go to 14, plank jack shoulder taps. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, halfway, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, oh man. Good job, guys. Definitely going one equals one after this. Okay. All right. That will be my gift to you and to me for these last brutal rounds, okay? Breathe deep. All right, here we go. We're gonna do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Oh, awesome. Okay, that felt a lot better. Barn game off. Five squat jumps. Breathe it out. 16 plank jack shoulder taps. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Whew. Awesome. That was 16. Four squat jumps. Awesome work. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. On to 17 plank jack shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Ah, nice. Another round done. And another round's done. Whew, another one bites the dust. Okay, three. Squat jumps. Woo. And 18 plank jack shoulder taps. You can always take those shoulder taps and toe touches too. Just plain toe touches out here. Okay? Whatever you need to do, or even shoulder taps on your knees. Just keep going. All right. One. For height, two, three, awesome. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Three and eighteen rounds done. Now we're going two and 19, because why not? And then we'll have one more round after that, okay? You can do it. One, two, explode. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, last round, guys. You got it. Two and nineteen. Done. Last round. Twenty plank jack shoulder taps. One squat jump. You have come fully up and fully down that pyramid now. All right, one squat jump. One, bye-bye squat jumps. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, keep going, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, core tight, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20. Woo! You're done. Oh my goodness. Awesome job. Breathe it out for a minute. We will go right into your cool down. All right, guys, we are ready to start your cool down. You certainly earned it. So we're going to start off just on our backs here. Do a little back sequence. First, I want you to just extend those arms above you. Reach them out long. Try to relax from your head down to your toes. Now I want you to pull that right knee in. Hug it a little bit. You can pull that nose to the knee if you want. All right. Now we're gonna take that knee out and to the right. You're gonna really try to open up the hip here. 
So find a spot that feels good for you. Couple breaths here. Now we're gonna take it up and over. We're gonna look toward that right hand. You might hear a few pops and cracks, and that's okay. All right, now we're going to bring that knee in. One more time. If you feel like it, you can reach for those toes. From here, do a little hamstring stretch. You can also just reach for the back of the knee here. And bring those to knee. And slowly bring it back in. We're going to take those arms over our head again. Take a deep breath and send that left leg in. Bring those to knee. And bring that left knee towards your left side. Open the hip here. And bring that left knee up and over towards the right. Take that left arm out and look over your left shoulder. All right, bring that left knee back in here. And if you feel like it, Send that foot up. Reach for those toes. You can also reach for the back of your hamstring. And slowly pull that leg back in. All right, so we're gonna curl, roll over to one side, push up with our left arm, and we are going to do a pretzel stretch here on the right, right leg under, left leg on top, you're going to inhale, and exhale, fold over. All right, slowly come up, same thing, other side. You're going to put that left leg on the bottom, curl that right leg on top, reach up, inhale, Exhale, fold over. And come up. Now we're going to do everyone's favorite, the hamstring stretch. <laughs> we're going to send both legs in front of us. We're going to reach up and fold over. So, if this is a tough one for you, you can only reach to here, just come to here. If you can only reach for your ankles, that's fine too. Two more breaths here. Job. Now we're just going to come to a cross-legged position here. We're going to take our right arm. We are going to pat ourselves on the back. We are going to pull on that right elbow. Get that tricep stretched. Okay, we're going to bring that arm around to the front. We're going to hook our left elbow on our right elbow and we're going to look over our right shoulder. Get a little neck stretch going. All right, same thing other side. 
take that left arm up, pat yourself on the back because you did a great job, and pull on the elbow of that left arm. Take it, ground, hook with the right arm onto that left arm, and look over your left shoulder. Now we're going to make a few circles with our noses. Get that neck nice and cooled down, stretched out. I'm making my circles toward the right first. Switch directions. Right. Now from here, I want us to just end by dynamically reaching, stretching out that spine, slowing down our breaths, quieting our minds a little before we tackle what else we have in our day today. Because if I know you all, you have a lot to tackle. And you need to take a minute to just regroup, relax, and enter into it with a little bit of calm and quietness. One more each side. Awesome job, guys. You are all finished with this workout. Great job, guys, crushing this workout. I uh, did a little math when it came to our descending and ascending rep pyramid here, and it looks like you might have just done 210 squat jumps. And if you did the two equals one plank jacks with me to rep number 15, you did 315 plank jack shoulder taps all together because after 15 we went one equals one. So congratulations, an awesome job. So now what you need to do is get a lot of water into your system to help those muscles repair and recover. You need a healthy post-workout meal as well. If you have any questions about what that is or how to put it together, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com or comment down below. After that, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet for more brutal workouts and tips for healthy living. Also check us out on Patreon. You will get some extras there and get to have a little more fun with us each week and each month. So check it out if you haven't yet. So whether you cruise through all these circuits and just scaled up and down that pyramid with ease or whether you are counting through each very painful rep, it is your health today and every day. And P.S. You completed it either way. So get out your hammer. You better hit it hard. Boom. Have an awesome week, guys, and I will see you soon.